dinosaur tracks. Oh, I'm excited. Walking where dinosaurs walked is us trespassing. Have you ever seen a canyon looking like this? We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. There you go, north east exit of the park. We're officially leaving. Bye Yellowstone, it's been amazing. It's been fabulous. We're coming back to the snowy conditions again. The Beartooth Scenic Byway. Because I can't believe those mountains. Good city, wow. This is pretty remote, isn't it? The coolest small town in America. I love that, the Chamber of Commerce. Couple of motels, lots of icicles. Coffee shop. This is a cool little place. A saloon and casino, the Miner's Saloon. Just passed a sign saying, this road is not maintained to travel at your own risk. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? What does that mean? It means we're going back on the Dempster Highway. <laughs> That's what it said when we did the Dempster Highway. This road looks a lot better. We're back to festive roads again. I'm a little concerned that the uh, the road that we're going to be we're planning to go down is a, is a side road off this road. And like I say, I checked the road conditions this morning and they said it was all good. There is quite a lot of ice on the road here already. So the road ahead, I think there's a warning sign there. And this is the road that we're turning right on anyway. The 296. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go. Oh, it says closed. The road ahead is closed. So we've got no choice. We have to go this way. There you go. Fate's dictated. That is a very unusual hill. It looks like a fortress. It does, it's a really weird shape and it's got this like line of rock all the way along. It's very cool. This drive, I'm pleased we, uh, we had to come on this road. It's epic looking down over this valley. Heck. It was all going so well until this hairpin came up and we ended up on the wrong side of the road. Marianne's trying to juggle her coffee cup. Oh, it's a bit bright, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? So there you go, couldn't resist pulling over to show you this view. Amazingly, it's not actually that cold. It suddenly seems to have warmed up a bit, but the view here is absolutely fantastic. That's not bad, is it? It's not cold. Why is it not cold? It's not cold. It's I don't understand. Cold. It's suddenly, it's know. gone plus. The temperatures, and we're high as well. What a spectacular view. <clears throat> wow, that's quite an epic scenery in front as well. It looks like a, it looks very dry and deserty at the bottom down there. And in front, the landscape just keeps changing, doesn't it? We're coming into the town of Cody. You can see it in the distance here. It's pretty remote, I have to be honest. So there you go, Trudy's all packed up for the night and we have made it to Walmart. Move up, I'm coming in. What a fantastic day. Yeah. We made it across the mountains. Yay! Beautiful time in Yellowstone. 
and we avoided the snowstorm. And there's no better way to end the day than chilling in bed and watching a bit of telly. And if you wonder how we watch TV, we've got this shelf at the end of the bed that we put in with our laptop on it. And we've absolutely loved catching up over the last few weeks with I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. It's very British. And gives us a real taste of home. Love watching that. We've also been watching uh, Silent Witness over on mm. BBC iPlayer. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, we do have a British TV license. And you may be wondering how we watch British TV whilst we're here in the States. And we use our Surfshark VPN. By simply clicking a button, we change our virtual location, which makes our computer think it's somewhere else in the world. And that unlocks content that wouldn't normally be available to us. While we've been parked up here, we've been using Walmart's Wi-Fi. And we're always worried about our online security. But by using Surfshark VPN, it creates an encrypted tunnel so we know that our data is being kept safe online. And this is the perfect time for you to get Surfshark because they're offering a very special festive discount. From the 1st of November to the 31st of December, you can get a whopping 85% discount plus three months free. And that's just $1.97 a month. To take advantage of this special offer, simply click the link in the description below, or if you're watching on the TV, scan this QR code and enter the promo code TREADTHEGLOBE. Good morning and welcome to Cody, Wyoming. <laughs> we spent a good night here uh, in Walmart car park. Thank you, Walmart. Uh, it was a great night's sleep in this, in this parking lot here. If you joined us on the last episode, we made it from Washington State. We were worried about the weather warnings. There was snow forecast. We managed to keep ahead with it. We th literally drove through Yellowstone and we arrived here. It is still bitterly cold and in fact there is a weather warning for this week. You got a ping on your phone. I did indeed. Wind and snow. So yeah, snow is due I think in a couple of days um, and winds so we're leaving today. Um, but you may be wondering why Wyoming? Why are we van lifing through Wyoming? Well we're going to get the map out and show you the route for today. We get the map pinned up. We actually we're putting a plastic bag behind it because our pen goes through the map and we don't want a graffiti treaty this morning, do we? Any more than she already is. <laughs> okay, so we have woken up here in Cody and uh, we're gonna be heading east along this way and then south through the city of Buffalo and then across and then up to a very cool park here. More on that later. Devil's Tower National Monument. There's lots planned to see on the way today, including very cool little towns. But we're gonna to start today by showing you a little bit of Cody because there's an interesting story on why Cody's called Cody. Okay, we have come down to downtown Cody. We parked up and Cody is called Cody for a very special reason. Yep, it's named after a certain William Frederick Cody, who you may or may not have heard of by that name, but you will definitely heard of, have heard of him because he's called. Well, if you think about William, what's the short form of William? Bill. Yeah, we are in the town of Buffalo Bill. Everyone's heard of Buffalo Bill. And it's a very cool looking town, very old school American. You can see signs of Buffalo Bill all over the town. We found Buffalo Bill and the reason he's called Buffalo Bill is because he supplied the Kansas Pacific Railroad workers buffalo meat. In fact, he had a varied career, 
whether it was panning gold as a kid, whether it was a Pony Express rider, he even became a showman. And of course, he's also famous for giving the Wild West its name. And you can see all over the town, they embrace it. Look, there is a shoot guns firearms experience in the town. There is a, a bucking horse over here with a big rifle on top of the building. There is actually an old town that you can go and visit, which takes you back to the wild, wild west. It's closed for the season, but it's still a very amazing, cool town to have a walk around. We're going to start the day by going to have a coffee or a bit of breakfast in this hotel right behind me. So yeah, this is the Irma Hotel. And this hotel was actually built by Buffalo Bill himself back in 1902. So coming back into this hotel is literally like stepping back in time. Look at the old till. We sat at the bar here um, because the bar has a story. This bar uh, from Cherrywood was actually donated by Queen Victoria herself. It was gifted to Buffalo Bill. How cool is that? In fact, the, on the back of this menu, it says the Buffalo Bill might be the most famous American yet. I think that might be true. I think it's true. But I spotted up here on the wall that Buffalo Bill actually was in London in 1887 and one of his distinguished guests was Queen Victoria. So that's where they would have met. That's where he would have been able to give, be given this beautiful piece of cherry wood. What a perfect start to being in Wyoming today. And there's memorabilia all over the walls. There's old photos. It has a very cool old feel and uh, some display guns from Buffalo Bill uh, behind the bar. I'm loving this. This is a very good choice. Look how amazing that is. Hash brown, sunny side eggs, refried beans, tortilla, cheese, and chili. That's a great way to start the day. I think you've got it all going on there. And I have a croissant. I'm just craving pastry today. Oh, that looks so good. Good, but bad. Mm. So they're all mashed up together. Mm. Lovely. I got a free pen. From Thank Lindsay. you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it's so much fun because it's just so iconic, and and just talking about it and being here is like so cool. Buffalo Bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, West. <laughs> so we're just having a look at the decor in the hotel. Look at this. Isn't this mad? All these animal heads on the walls and uh, it just feels so old school doesn't it it does there you go look some boots rotating i'm into the lounge apparently this is a, a fossil yeah, fireplace yeah. oh yeah you can see the shells all over oh that's a some very... of them are really smooth and some of them are really sharp that's very cool so very about that score <gasps> I've seen it. I've seen the eye. I can. You can never take that back. You can never. You can never, you can never unsee the eye. <laughs> what is it? What sort of eye is it? Is it just like a stone? I think it's just a stone. What a fantastic start to the day. So if you do come to Cody, do not miss going into the Irma Hotel, even if it's just for a coffee or a bit of breakfast. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to hit the road now and start heading uh, east towards Devil's Tower and uh, see what we can find and share with you on the way. <laughs> the staff there were so lovely, weren't they? Yeah. So it's all, uh, it's all cowboy related as you drive through, uh, through Cody. Bars, saloons, restaurants and cowboy shops. What a very, very fun place. It is the wild, wild west. We've got half a tank of fuel still, but uh, you never know when the next gas station's going to be. So uh, we like to keep it, keep it topped up. We're all filled up, but one thing you have to have your wits about your traveling because in each country, the diesel is a different color. Yes. So green is unleaded back home, whereas it's diesel here. Black in Canada, 
was diesel. It was. Um, so yeah, back to the States and it's green again. The, uh, the weather is still holding off for us today. It's hard to believe those weather warnings because it is actually a really nice day. The sun's trying to come out. Uh, the wind is good at the moment. Long may it continue. Hopefully we stay ahead of it, the snow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Being uh, in the town makes you feel like you're, you know, in a very densely populated area, but literally just driving one mile and uh, we're back into nature, back into the wild west, and uh, there will be nothing for miles. There you go. Look how remote we are already this morning over the plains. I can just imagine cowboys on their horses with this landscape. Wyoming is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, because Wyoming starts with Yellowstone Park in the west and now we're heading eastwards straight across the state. One of the things we've been trying to keep an eye on is weather and altitude, mountains. And to be honest, we weren't expecting to see more mountains heading east today. But in the distance, we can already see snow-capped mountains. So hopefully we don't have to go over those today. Okay, so we've been to some pretty small places on our travels, but driving through Wyoming today, we saw this sign, welcome to Emblem the population is just 10 people. I'm very curious to see what is in their town. <laughs> but we are in the hearts of Wyoming this morning. I'm loving these trucks. They sound so cool. This is the town of Emblem. Post office, turn left. There is a post office. Look at that. There is nothing in this town other than a post office. Oh, look at the church. Is that the church? <laughs> Esther from the Netherlands, if you're watching, we're trying to post your stickers from here. It looks like that's a little mini church. I don't know whether I should go and have a look. There's no sign on it. I feel very naughty to go and open it. Looks like a church, but I don't know whether I should. No, it's a storage shed. <laughs> There's us trespassing. It's because there was a cross on the side. It looked like a little mini church. No, I know, but it's got stuff in it. So anyway. you can't just go into someone's house. Let me anyway, just... Esther, go and post Esther, Esther's. I'm just going to go and post your sticker pack. Hopefully this post office situation is going to work. Oh no! It's closed! But look at this! You can, so obviously all the locals from around come here to get their post box. It's got all the post office services. But the shutter's down. What is that? Office hours. It should be open. Okay, epic fail. Sorry, Esther, I'm not posting your stamps. Uh, I'm not posting your sticker pack from Emblem. So let's see where the next post office is. We survived the Dempster Highway, but a truck just came past a little crack in the windscreen there so we'll have to go and try and get that repaired oh that's not good that's very cool we just had a flock of birds doing their little dance over the road This place sounded very cool for all you 
paleontologists. In fact, researching it, one of the comments was, if you are a closet paleontologist, <laughs> this one is for you. So apparently down here, there is some pretty cool dinosaur tracks that we thought we would go and check out on the way as we're driving past. And we're back to a little dirt road again, Trudy. In fact, she's got a rattle still. I don't know whether you can hear that, but uh, we do have an appointment at a garage in a couple of days time, just to get a second opinion, just to listen to that rattle. We know it's not the bearings, we've fixed all the bearings, they've all been replaced, but it's there's still that little rattle which we would prefer to check out and be safe. Got to look after our girl Trudy. Some of the rocks we're driving past are amazing. They're like rainbowed. They've got the, uh, the colored stripes in. Dinosaur's track site, just down to the right hand side here. Oh, I'm excited. So here we are, the Red Gulf's dinosaur track site. <laughs> It's about half an hour's walk to the ballroom where you can see some dinosaurs tracks which look a bit like that which it says here are a whopping 160 million years old that's mad one thing you've got to be careful of is rattlesnakes not good would be very cool to see but from a distance <laughs> here you go it is actually hard to see them they've got these uh these tubes to look through to uh, to help you identify them but it's still pretty hard to spot them so i've come down you can actually come down onto the site marianne's trying to guide me with the things i think these like this is one of the prints here they're like three toes yeah that's right there's like this is a print here they're quite hard to spot see look here's another one you can see, make the outline of the uh, the animal there. That's pretty cool. Isn't that mad to think you're, you're actually walking where dinosaurs walked 160 million years ago? So it was found whilst walking in the area by four people. But my question to you <laughs> is, if you saw these marks in the floor, how would you know that it's a dinosaur footprint? No, it's hard. I mean, we're walking along and to the, me, it just looks like rock. I can't really, without being guided, see the footprints. How, yeah, how would you even know to look for dinosaur footprints here? Okay, we jumped back into Trudy. We've got uh, about two and a half hours or 150 miles to the town of Buffalo. Uh, which we have to drive through as we head east and we'll try and find some water. We found a spot on I Overlander because Trudy has run out of water. And uh, I think, I'm pretty sure we're going over the mountains now, baby. Towards the snow. We're nearly, wow. we're nearly back to the main road. And uh, this view is not get disappointing at all today. It's just the colour in the rocks. There's like this red rock and the with the grass and the greenery and everything it's really really wonderful wyoming we are blown away wonderful wyoming there you go that's that sums up today we're just coming into the town of shell and it's called shell because the whole area they found lots of fossilized shells Population 74. I love these little towns, they are so quaint. All the leaves are coming off the trees now. Autumn is well and truly set in. I was not expecting to see mountains and views like this today. I thought we were going to be driving over flat plains. So today's been a very pleasant surprise. This is the reason you have to come and visit places. When people say, 
uh, there's not really much to see. I think you should definitely go with the find out for yourself. That's part of why I love doing this job. Have you ever seen a canyon looking like this? A river running parallel to us. These amazing rock structures. You can imagine it in the wild, wild west. Cowboys coming down on their horses through these, uh, these canyons. Wow. So if you're wondering where we are, it's actually with Big Horn National Forest we just passed a signpost for. Look at this. Oh, it's perfect time of year with the golden coloured trees as well and the blue skies, it just adds another dimension. Pretty well at the top now, 1,740 meters. You can see the snow up there. <laughs> the snow is uh, up there, shows how high we are. But the whole drive has been absolutely fantastic. I would definitely recommend coming up here. Return to grey ball when flashing. Luckily it's not flashing, but we are now 2,550 metres up. And they've got barriers across the top of the road, so if the road ahead was closed, they would just shut this whole place down. Yeah, they would. These are the barriers that they'd used to close the road here. You can still see snow, so they've had a dump of snow already. Thursday, two days and there's snow forecast. Some big drops down the side there, but there are barriers all the way along, so it's not too bad. And the incline is about eight degrees, which isn't too steep at the moment. You all know how Trudy's brakes don't like steep downhills. So we're just taking it slow and steady. Okay, we've made it down to the bottom of the mountain. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> the sky is definitely grey. Yeah. It's so grey, it actually looks blue. We're just coming into the town of Sheridan, where apparently there is a place with a water machine. So we're going to give it a bash. You got it. it just comes out on its own. I just put the card on it and that's it. Well, We're officially soaked. Absolutely soaked. <laughs> <laughs> we don't normally get soaked. We've got a bit of a wet situation. Carnage. <laughs> right, quick honest, tidy up. I needed to wash the floor anyway. Okay, we've dried off. We're back in Trudy. I'm not dry. We have 164 miles to go to the park up that we were planning to go to, and it's five o'clock already, but we're gonna give it a bash and get as far as we can, because tomorrow we wanna go and see the Devil's Tower in the morning. Sun's just uh, just going down, and I know the GoPro is going to make it all look a bit brighter. But the sky is the weirdest colour I've ever seen. It's like really dark grey, purple, and then it just goes. It's a really odd, really odd light tonight. I think there is definitely a storm brewing.
Okay, we've pulled off now into the town of Gillette. We're gonna uh, find somewhere to park up. There's a Walmart that lets you park up, apparently. So there you go. Welcome to Walmart car park here in Gillette. We've tucked ourselves up in the corner. It's always a good idea to uh, to not park by the main entrance. They don't like you parking by the main entrance. So tuck yourself away in the corner and normally you have no problems. So yeah, right. Let's get some food. There you go, dinner is served. Chicken, mushroom, cream, garlic, caper sauce with broccoli and Brussels. Marianne's eating in bed. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Bon appétit. Duvet dinner. Duvet dinner. Right, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>